Hello everyone. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to extract the BIOS image for the HP Pavilion Sleekbook 14 bzr au Initially, download the executable file from HP Support, a step we've already completed. Note that on the HP support page for our model, the only available option is for Windows 8. Despite our system running Windows 10, proceed to execute the file and choose the destination folder for file extraction. An error may occur due to the file being designed for the Windows 8 platform. Ideally, a new window should prompt us to choose between create a recovery USB flash drive or copy the BIOS image to any file location. However, as shown by the extracted binary files, they are encrypted and not suitable for our purpose. We require decrypted files to program our BIOS chip using a BIOS programmer. Let's explore how to decrypt these files for practical use. Let's attempt to manually run the inside flash.exe file to see if it can help. Unfortunately, we encountered the same error. Ensure hpdecry.exe and liba.dll are in the same folder as the files to decrypt. Now, let's learn how to decrypt the two binary files we've obtained. Open CMD in your working folder's address bar. Type hpdecry, a space, dash, d. followed by the file name you want to decrypt. Then, space dash O and the desired output file name. Hit enter. After hitting enter in the CMD prompt, a decrypted file with your chosen name will be generated in your working folder. Now verify the decrypted file with WEFA tool. It appears to be an AMD BIOS image ready for BIOS programming.
with a valid signature and a bid number observed in hex. Proceed with decrypting the second file using the same process as the first. Done. We have a valid second file. To choose between the two decrypted files, check the bid number from your motherboard's original BIOS image. as there's an Intel version of this Pavilion Sleekbook 14. Follow the video to understand the differences in extraction from Intel and AMD executable BIOS files. Find the download link for the hpdcry.exe tool in the video description.
Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Take care.